based on a true story. In 1971, the Perrin family moved into their dream home. It's gonna be great. But they didn't know it was the site of a brutal murder in 1863 and countless horrors in the century that followed. What happened to the parents in that house was so disturbing, the family has refused to speak of it. Until now. First day, we fell in love with the house. I get my own room. The owner says, do you and your family a favor, Roger. He says, keep the lights on in this house at night. A couple of days later, it came back to me, and I had an idea that something was wrong. From day one, there was a heaviness and there was a scariness. Things began to happen in the house. We started to see multiple spirits in the house. Nancy, it's standing right behind you. Because I was the youngest and the most vulnerable, I was approached more than anyone, and I actually had a relationship with that boy. I think something bad happened to him. Follow me this way. I had gone to bed. I opened my eyes. The apparition started to come down to me. Look what she made me do. Uh. Nancy? From the director of Saw and Insidious. We waited 30 years to tell our story. Because 30 years ago, the world was not prepared for this. On July 19th, oh, God. experience the terrifying truth.